Walmart at the rate of 36,000 a day. That's 1,500 pies every hour, 25 pies per minute. Okay, coming up, a touching story that you will only see here. Meet nine-year-old Vivian Meyer, who shaved her head so others could live. She's like, okay, but you know people are going to bully you. And I'm like, I'm fine with that because I'm my own person and I get to do what I do. So inspirational to hear from her another in our series of ordinary people doing extraordinary things, and it's next. Now talk about bravery. That is nine-year-old Vivian Meyer, the New Hampshire student, doing her part to fight cancer by chopping her locks. She was inspired by one woman's personal connection that's now kicking off a movement. I was like, I did this. I actually shaved all my hair. No question in my mind she was gonna, she was definitely gonna do this. So, and it was just a, you know, another choked up moment for sure. A choked up and proud mom moment for Jennifer Meyer after her nine-year-old daughter Vivian's brave gesture. Yep. You, yeah. you look beautiful. She's like, okay, but you know people are gonna bully you. And I'm like, I'm fine with that because <laughs> I'm my own person and I get to do what I do. Vivian's goal was to raise money for kids with cancer. She also shaved her head to pay tribute to her grandparents, three of whom died from the disease. The overall inspiration to go bald came from her elementary school teacher, Michelle Stoddard. I shaved my head in Boston, yeah, July of 2015. I went to school with my head shaved um, and I kept it shaved for a little while into the school year. She teached me in fourth grade. And it was right when I was starting there. She like welcomed me and greeted me. So I'm like, what happened? And she told me the whole story. In 2012, everything changed for the Stoddard family after losing their five-year-old identical twin, Cole. She told me that she, um, she shaved her head because of her son that died from cancer. I got in third grade, I said, I want to do that. That cancer connection spurred a movement. After Cole died, it was hard to go back to regular work. Needed that more of a purpose in life. Cole's dad, Tony, who once battled cancer, knew what the purpose was to raise awareness about childhood cancer. Childhood cancer is the number one killer by disease of kids in our country, and it's grossly underfunded. We just wanted to get the facts out there through the awareness. And seeing Vivian do something like this, it, it, it's helpful, it helps you heal when you see that you can inspire other people and especially when it's a child because that child is going to continue it for so many years. And when she told me, I mean, I was excited and I get goosebumps every time I talk about her, but it's brave. It, it's, it's a big step for a nine-year-old. Vivian has now raised close to 5,000 bucks for Buzz Off for Kids with Cancer. The original goal was to raise $500. It feels great to know that like a lot of my friends donated, like a lot of my cousins. It felt great that everybody donated. One of our biggest fears was that Cole wouldn't, would be forgotten. Um, here we are nine years later and you know, Children are still, you know, rising up to, to do something in Paul's mm -hmm. memory. I want everybody to know that has cancer that they're not going through it by themselves. And that is one brave young lady. And by the way, Vivian is also planning on donating her hair, and her goal is to one day meet some of the kids impacted by cancer. All right, coming up, when was the last time?